With crisis talks on America's deficit still caught between the rock of GOP rejection of tax hikes and the hard place of Democrats blanching at benefit cuts, America's Treasury chief says it's fish or cut bait. We don't have much time. It's time we move. As the August 2nd deadline for a first ever default on America's debt looms ever closer, Wall Street worries Congress will fail to hike the borrowing limit. And the Fed chief warns that could unleash market chaos. Um, I think it would be a calamitous outcome. It would create a very severe financial shock. But with rating agencies warning U.S. Treasury bonds could lose their AAA status, the first glimmers of hope appeared. Word that Senate Democratic and Republican leaders are working on a way to give President Barack Obama the power to raise the debt ceiling himself, with some amount of deficit cutting to come after. In the president's view, the time to compromise is at hand. Now is not the time to play games. Now is not the time to posture. Now is the time to do what's right by the country. On Wednesday, a frustrated Obama had abruptly ended a session of the talks, declaring enough is enough. A day later, tempers were flaring on all sides. House Majority Leader Eric Kenner shown that he shouldn't even be at the table. And Republicans agree he shouldn't be at the table. It was the House GOP leader who reportedly triggered Obama's outburst, but his speaker stood by him. We're in the foxhole. Uh, and I'm going to tell you what, uh, this is not easy. And Leader Reid is, I, I imagine, frustrated as we all are. Uh, and the fact is, we are going to abide by our principles. Uh, For Obama, the months of haggling are clearly taking their toll. The president has more patience than Job. I don't compete with him in that regard. Yeah. So how about locking the doors and brewing a big pot of coffee till there's a deal? And I'd be real careful about giving out too much coffee to this crowd. The only thing I hope he doesn't ask us to do is go to Camp David. That goes beyond the pale. <laughs> the record of that option, at least for now, is off the table. Officials here say the president has now set Friday as the deadline for deciding if any kind of a substantial deficit-cutting deal is even going to be possible. If it is not, they say it'll be time for Plan B, a scramble merely to avoid a disastrous default. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.